This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Find out more at the end of the video. Hello fellow engineers. Have you ever wanted to drive to a slice of brioche and collect an upside down shopping bag? Well now you can, because today we're playing mini motorways. Right, so last time we actually completed the game, we completed Mexico City. However, at the start of that video, we also discovered this, the weekly challenge. No, I missed it. I missed it. No. Oh no, no, this is the right one. <laughs> Build a bridge. Start with one bridge and unlimited road tiles. So we're going to have some fun with that. So let's try the weekly challenge. Begin. All right, pause. Straight off. We've literally got unlimited road. I can do whatever I want. Five minutes later. Ah, <laughs> that feels better. That feels better. So we're going to do a road from a house. I think we'll do it along the coast like that. And we're away, we're in the game. I will explain how this game works for those new to the channel, but um, there's not gonna be any new people that haven't seen this game yet, surely. Basically, cars leave the houses, head to the shop, collect the upside down shopping basket. It's a bag, not a basket. Yeah, and you get points. And the rest is history. Oh look, we forced a green to spawn in there straight away. Uh, so they're all sharing at the moment. And um, we'll just do that for now. Something I've always wanted to try actually, is if you build your own roundabout, does that work like a roundabout? Are there no more upgrades? Oh, I didn't know that. So we literally have one bridge. Ooh, that's interesting game. Well, well, well. How the turntables. If we build that and then connect our houses to it, does it actually work like a roundabout? No, I'm not sure it does, actually. He's gone to there. They can drive either side of the roundabout, so it's not actually a roundabout. I don't know why, I really want to do like some cool road patterns that I haven't been able to do yet. Like, that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> that's engineering. How about new? Oh god, okay, we've got an IMAX now. We've got an IMAX. I don't think there's too much worry about mixing traffic between greens and purples, though. I'm just a little bit worried where the next shop is going to spawn. It's either going to be down there or down there. But not if I do that. Oh, look, another purple. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Are we going to get any more houses? Please, game, please. Whoa, slow down, slow down. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'll tell you what, then. We're going to have to take these guys up over there. We're going to have to take you around the bloody trees because we can't dig up trees anymore. Oh, no, we literally can't get around that. So can you see there's a yellow house and a tree? We can't go around. We don't, we don't have a tunnel either. Oh, dear. So we've got to wait for the map to zoom out. It slowly zooms out. You can sort of see it's very, very slowly. There you go. It happened right in front of our eyes. And now we can actually go around there and connect a green up. But I'm uh, really interested to see what a good score on this level would be. So I don't really have a clue at the moment. But we can do that to get the yellows and the greenhouse segregated. We don't mind mixing the pinks and the greens. But uh, we want to try and avoid the yellows. And you can see that road that has properly avoided everything. So that does actually appear to be working quite well, strangely. Um, oh god, we got yellow up here. Oh, that's not ideal. Why would you do that? I think we might just have to get rid of this green. So now these cars on their journey, they only have one junction, which is this one. That will slow them down. All the others will be fine. Oh, there's another yellow up there. What is going on? So now they've got two, obviously, because they've got the supermarket there. This is not going to be a high scoring round. Oh, I hate it that we get to the end of the week and we get no upgrades. As we've only got one bridge, it's pretty critical that I block these two islands. If we get shop spawn on both and not the same color houses, then we're literally screwed. So we can only go to one, not both. Oh, no, we've got a red. We've got a red. Oh, we've got a green there now. Okay, so we're going to have to redo this road a little bit to come down and then up from there. <laughs> I think that keeps everything fast, though. Let's keep an eye on this yellow car. Yeah, he's creaming it. He's going fast still. That's good. That is good. Uh, oh, dear. We've got purple up there. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. And the purple houses are just in the middle of nowhere. All right, a couple of reds over here. So we'll do... Oh, you tit blue... Blue, come on, man. You're literally opposite side of the maps. Go to a different supermarket, you idiot. <laughs> oh, All right, we're going to have to go like around here in the most zigzaggy way possible. There's no point mixing with the reds, upsetting them. You may as well stay separate. So assuming blues can get there in time. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to. All right, got a yellow there. 
I think we're just going to have to crossroad it. All right, another blue house down here to connect in. That's going to help a bit. I, I can't see us getting anywhere in this game. Look, we're getting destroyed already. All right, a load of yellows to connect up. So we'll do that with you. And a green down there. That's not too bad because we got houses right here. But a yellow as well. Really, game? I don't have a tunnel. Oh, no. Can yellows even get round there? Yeah, everything's sort of connected. Oh, this is hurting my head. This is hurting my head. We need to... Oh, God. We need to really fill up this area. That was close. There you go. So that's purely just to block the area so we don't get any supermarkets down there. Uh, somehow we've made it to 500 points, which ain't too bad. There's so many purple houses down here. Gonna have to connect them somehow. I'm just gonna fill in this area. Oh, look, you can just do... Oh, I actually, I really want to try that, actually. I'm going to do that next round. Next round, we're going to do what if the entire map was road. Oh, no. That's an IMAX now. How are you meant to do this level? Did, is it because I messed up at the start? Because I did knobs everywhere. This looks like I've just graffitied the outer edge of the map as well, but I haven't. This is all tactics. Oh, look, we've got a first timer because we don't have any yellows connected. Uh, I don't even know how to connect yellows to that, if I'm honest. What is it? It's just a disaster. That yellow one, that's killed us. That has absolutely killed us. We're not even going to beat a thousand points. What a mess. 803. Let's, let's see how well we did. 7,000th. Not that bad. The top score was 6,000. Oh, and if you get 3,000, you're in the top 10. All right, then we're going to do it again. But we're going to literally just tarmac everything. Screw Mother Nature. We are literally just tarmacking everything. Right, so there we go. <laughs> We've made a massive runway. So let's see how the house gets on. There's no journey yet. Right, our first journey. What way is our car going to go? <laughs> oh no, he'd go so slow because he thinks there's a junction everywhere. <laughs> oh, I forgot down there. Bollocks. Right, we are going to need more houses. So I might strategically delete. A green. Oh, bollocks. I forgot it was a doubler. I think they did that on purpose. So you can't like cheat. Right, I've made some space so we can spawn some greens. You're not going down there, though. Right, I'm pretty sure we are going to beat the game. It's going to go well. There's just two things I've got to watch for. One is when the map expands, we quickly fill it in. So that was close. And two, that we have enough traffic. So we've got this greenhouse down there, but we literally can't involve him. There's no way of doing it. Oh, you cheeky bloody game. It expanded. And now we've got houses really far away. Yeah, but at least this guy now has a road to get there now. Look how slow the cars move. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No, he has green down there. Bollocks. Right, just keeping an eye on all the edges. Which edge is going to expand first? I wonder if there's a rate. I wonder if there's like a pattern. Like, do they expand on certain days? Let's try and measure it, shall we? Right, pause. So it's nearly the end of Sunday. Or was it the end of Saturday? I think it was the end of Saturday. I think it just turned to Sunday. Oh, God. We got on IMAX. We got on IMAX. Pause. Right, it's Monday. So is it 24 hours? That is the question. Another one Tuesday. Maybe it's every 24 hours-ish. Oh, bollocks. I didn't even see that one. God damn it. Oh my god, look how slow that journey is. Oh, you bastard. I literally looked away for a second. Right, pay attention, Matt. Pay attention. Look at all the edges. Oh, we got a timer already. We're only on 71 points. <laughs> this is not good. Right, it was top. It was top. Oh, and right. I bloody missed right. All right, I tell you what, as we have a timer, I might tweak the rules a bit. I might just make these ones a bit quicker just to try and get rid of the timer. So I've got to make it to 100 points. Surely. Right, right or bottom is going to pop next. If we even make it that far. <laughs> oh no, the timer is too strong. I'm going to I'm gonna have to delete all this. All right, let's try that for now then. That should at least get the traffic we've got there a bit quicker. Can we beat the timer real quick? That was close. Oh, left has gone. Left has gone. He might have done. Oh, the bottom's gone. The bottom's gone. All right, the timer's trying to go down. It's a bit of a losing battle, though. Or we might get rid of it. Yes, we got rid of the timer. Technically, this still counts. We've actually, we've hit 100 points now as well. Oh, the left. The left. Oh, the timer is not happy at all. I've sort of made all this space for new houses, but... I was about to say, but they won't spawn in there. But there you go. One just spawned in there. So that's nice. Oh, top. Top. 
I think if we can just keep this, like, top area completely tarmac, I think that will count. That will count as a success. Oh, man, we're so close to a timer again. There's just not enough houses. I don't know why. Maybe it's something in the water. Oh, the right edge just went there. Oh, and the left edge. Well, there's definitely not a pattern, though. It just sort of expands whenever it wants to, it seems. Must make sure no other edge spawns. Oh, left, 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 left. <gasps> Man, this is getting risque now. I might delete that and hope we get some more houses spawned in there. Top! <sighs> I'm trying to paint it, but there's so much going on. Oh, I've got another timer. We've got another timer. It's not looking good. Any other edges? No, we're all good. Oh, look. Another another one. Oh, but we're getting some, we're getting some more houses spawned. That is good. Just colour it all in. Oh, left, 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 left. Bloody level. How big is this level? Stop expanding. I'm going to keep an eye on everything. All right, I'm starting to uh, get fatigued now. <laughs> My hand from just holding the mouse down constantly. All right, I guess we'll just keep an eye on left next. I assume that's next. Yep, there you go. It's just gone. All right, constant timers. And they're red. What if we try and make some more space? There you go, more houses. We could do some more greens. Oh, there is a green. Not connected. Connect you in. All right, I was about to say, I've nearly caught up with colouring in. But, uh, <laughs> keeps on expanding. <laughs> All right, 469 points. This could actually beat the original method. <laughs> Screw playing properly. I mean, you can just do this. That might be the entire level expanded now. Oh, no, the top has gone. Bloody hell. How big is this level? And the bottom. And the left side, oh bloody hell. The question is though, how long can we actually last? Because timers are constantly going up. There's not really any fixes we can do. I'm just trying to connect houses and keep an eye on the edge. Like traffic is backing up so much. I guess actually maybe we could bring a few of these like that way instead. Bloody left of the map expanded. Damn you left of the map. But yeah, this junction here, really not great. It's proper holding up everything. Right, there you go. They're split up now. I think the map has stopped expanding. So, uh, let's speed it up and just see how much longer we last. So unless more houses appear, it is going to end at some point. You see the timers are slowly, slowly getting higher and higher. All right, some more houses spawned in there. I've just connected them up. That might make us last a little bit longer, actually. I might sort of keep going back, trying to make more room. Just in case a house wants to spawn. Oh, the green timer's going up and up now. Yeah, it's no longer the number of houses that we're short on. It's just the traffic piling up. Look, there's two cars on top of each other there. Oh, there's the end. There's the end. <laughs> we lasted 71 days, which... Is that better than our original go? I think it was. And the best thing is, we even outsmarted a Brainiac Master. So a massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform in which to create your own website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. You can manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights. All in one easy to use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. You can use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. There's also a new third-party tool called Squarespace Extensions, and these can help you manage your inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, as well as sort out your sales tax and ship items across the globe. And you can also display posts from your social profiles on your website. So if that sounds of interest to you, go to Squarespace com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website go to squarespace.com forward slash real civil engineer to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain so thank you once again to squarespace for sponsoring and i'll say peace love and websites and i'll catch you guys next time bye